What are we doing today, Dylan? Trying, trying to get this turn on. Start. We're going to do a compression test on the 1010 loader and uh, see if we can't figure out why it was being such a such a bugger to get around when we were trying to load it on the trailer. Should we do a compression test? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> You ever done a compression test before? No. It's a whole lot of nothing in number one. starting to become clear to me why I won't start. A whole lot of nothing in number two. What do you think number three is going to be? Nothing. No, come on. Oh, I saw the new switch. Yikes. Nothing in number three. Should I move this so it's not getting black with that? We certainly can, yes. You think that'll be fun? That'll probably be fun. Nothing in number four. I'd say that'd be a reasonable place to start. So I guess now we'll pull the valve cover off and see if we got a bunch of valves hung open, or I'm assuming we probably do. I don't know what else it could be that would cause all four of them to have zero compression. Seems like, seems unlikely that it's a cylinder issue being that it turns over. So Dylan will pull the valve cover off of this thing and uh, you guys can watch. Want to take a valve cover? Try not to knock a bunch of dirt into the engine. Something don't seem quite right here. It's an awful lot of valve lash on some of these. Mm -hmm. 
sort of thinking these valves aren't closing all the way. Like maybe there was a mouse nest somewhere and it got sucked in and the intake valves got a bunch of mouse nest under it. Perhaps. Thinking maybe we're going to take the exhaust and intake manifold off. Like the side of an engine. Mm. Huh. There's definitely some critter uh, action going on in there. Climb up and watch, boy. See how much valve lash there is right there? That's a ton. So I'm going to try it. See if there's something in there. Still a ton. to be continued until we get a starter and figure out what's going on here because I've got no way to turn this thing over by hand because it just won't do it fun times but we may end up pulling the head off of this thing which isn't ideal but it is what it is if we do we do no big deal it does look like it's actually getting oil up top though. It's oiling. I guess another option is some rum dum did the valve, set the valves and set them way too tight so they're not closing. Is my needle nose over there? We'll try the starter one more time. Jumper cables. 